In this episode, X11 on the iPad, five things Linux does better, and Fedora 14 OpenSCAP. QuickSurf Internet Media presents Linux News Log, separating the Linux and open source signal from the noise. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona, here in Studio C1 at QuickSurf Internet Media. Linux News Log is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do head on over to techpodcasts.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there. Let's go ahead and get into the stories for Season 11, Episode 11. Before we do that, though, uh, I'm going to be at the Blog World and New Media Expo in Las Vegas on Saturday, October 16th, uh, roaming the expo floor. So if you want to meet and greet, that will be the time to do it. I'll be there from uh, about the time the floor opens until about 4 to 5 o'clock. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into the stories for this episode. From Infotech, Starnet unveils iLiveX fault tolerant X11 client for the iPad. Starnet Communications, a developer of X11 connectivity solutions, has asserted that they have released a fast, secure, and fault tolerant X11 client that can convert a user's Apple iPad into an X terminal for powerful Linux and Unix mainframes and supercomputers. Ooh, crispy iLiveX is designed for the millions of Windows users who run applications like Hummingbird, Exceed, XWin32, ReflectionX, VNC, SigWin, and others to gain access applications on powerful Unix and Linux hosts. Now, for the first time, they can redisplay those applications from their desktop onto an iPad and continue to work at land-like performance levels. So, uh, kind of interesting. I'll be interested to see how this really works in real life when people start using it on an iPad in real life, but uh, still nonetheless, uh, I thought it was pretty neat. From Business Wire, IP keys technologies to resell trusted computer solutions, automated Linux and Solaris operating system lockdown tool. Trusted Computer Solutions, a leading developer of cross-domain operating system and network security solutions, today announced a partnership with IP keys technologies to resell security blanket the award-winning automated operating system lockdown tool. IP keys provide secure computing and communication systems to the commercial, federal, state, and local and utility sectors to meet the needs of the highly regulated industries at services. IP keys will offer security blanket to help with their customers, to help their customers to adhere to compliance guidelines in an automated manner, saving time and improving operational efficiencies. And believe me, I work in the utility industry Something like this, big deal. Ever heard of SIP, Critical Infrastructure Protection? Wow, well, guess what? It's a lot of compliance. Some security, but mostly compliance. Anyway, uh, yes, check this out. I certainly have. From PR Log over at PRLog.org, Linux Magazine celebrates its 10-year anniversary. Linux Magazine celebrates its 10-year anniversary with the November 2010 issue, which includes a free archive DVD with a complete library of all previous issues. Ooh, nice. The 10-year anniversary issue ships to subscribers worldwide beginning in early October and is also available on newsstands and by order. I wonder what format that uh, DVD is in. I'd be interested to see. Hopefully, it's like just PDF files, which would be nice. I can just go and throw them on my on my system, and there they are. From PC World, five things Linux does better. Now, the story says better than Mac OS X, but in reality, this is really a five things Linux does better than the rest of the world. Um I find it very hilarious that the author goes, oh, it's better than Mac OS X, but a lot of the stuff that the author brings up about OS X also applies to Windows. So, you know, what was the point? Anyway, uh, the number one thing is security. That's debatable. Customizability. Okay. Hardware, reliability, and price. So he's got uh, paragraphs underneath each one that explain his reasons for why he picked such things. A anywhere you see Mac OS X or OS X, just substitute Windows, and it's pretty much the same thing. 
Um, uh, but I thought it was interesting and thought I'd share it with everybody. From TMCNet.com, Digital Network upgrades Open Vault storage platform. The Open Vault storage platform with its block-based virtualized SAN storage supports any combination of iSCSI fiber channel and InfiniBand network fabrics and can support up to 10G Ethernet line with over 1 gigabits per second bandwidth. The nice thing about this is it seamlessly integrates with popular OSs such as Windows, Linux, Unix, Mac OS X, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So for those of you who uh, are looking for a robust technical solution at reduced cost with easy to use management features, this is possibly the thing to look for. From Datamation, Fedora 14 Linux boosts security with OpenSCAP. OpenSCAP. Security is always a primary concern for enterprise IT managers with a constant need to ensure that systems are kept updated and properly configured to prevent exploits. A new tool de debuting in the upcoming Red Hat sponsored Fedora 14 Linux release could prove a key ingredient in enabling properly secured systems. Fedora 14 is set to include a technology called OpenSCAP. SCAP, I don't get it, an open source implementation of the Security Content Automation Protocol, otherwise SCAP, uh, framework for creating a standardized approach for maintaining security secure systems. The new system builds on numerous other technologies and systems in an effort to enable IT organizations to ensure a standardized approach to security. And boy, let me tell you something. That is a big deal. Yes, it is. Big deal. From TMC Net, Inspirit, Inspirit joins Linux Foundation. Inspirit has joined the Linux Foundation to collaborate on Linux development and provide technical contributions to Android, Mego, and other Linux-based mobile platforms that will fuel both next-generation devices and networks. So, kind of cool stuff. Check them out. Um, you know, Linux Foundation has been over time, as we've reported, sucking in. Uh, various companies and organizations so it'll be uh, interesting to see uh, what comes of it over time that'll pretty much do it for this edition of linux news log as always everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes visit us on the web at linux.quicksurf.com uh, i will be in blog world uh, i will be in las vegas for the blog world and new media expo ah, i don't know why i kept saying i will be in blog world but anyway uh, October 16th, I'll be roaming. I'm flying in in the morning and flying out uh, that evening. So I'll be roaming the floor, the expo floor uh, that afternoon. Um, I wish I could make it a longer trip, but uh, I've got some other uh, obligations I have to meet. So, um, yeah. So follow me, twitter.com slash Adrian underscore bacon. And with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. Bye.